What's up guys, it's Lord Sando here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to get Caesar's bubble ham on spec in the new Jojo game Project Star. I'll also be showcasing the moves and telling you whether it's good or not. Before we get into this, I'm going to ask you to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more Project Star videos, or if this video helped you in any way. So the first step to getting the spec is you need 5000 cash. You can get cash by doing missions and by killing uh, enemy NPCs. I'll be doing a video later showing you how to farm levels and cash quickly, but let's get back on topic. So reset and go to the spawn once you have your 5000 cash and follow my character exactly. So you just want to go to this main uh, area in Cairo and you want to turn right and on the first street you'll see the Caesar NPC with the blue outfit and the blonde hair. You want to talk to him and then he'll give you an option to learn how to use bubbles and you say yes. Once you give him the 5,000 cash, he'll give you a quest and you want to go and talk to him again and he'll give you a dialogue which can let you start training. The first part of the quest is like this sliding bar and basically you want to click exhale when the blue bar and the yellow bar intersect. When they cross over each other, you want to press exhale and this progress thing at the top will go fill up even more and more. And once that fills to the max, then you'll complete the first part of the quest. This can take quite a lot of tries and basically there's like a glitch of it so it's laggy so you need to press exhale before it reaches the thing because it's like delayed by like half a second. Once you've done the first part of the quest you want to talk to him again and these bubbles will show up on your screen. You basically want to keep on clicking on them and you'll see the quest progress on the left hand side of your screen go up. You need to click on 20 bubbles and when you do that you'll be done with the quest. Once you've completed the second part of the quest, your character will die and you'll respawn and your combat will be removed and in your inventory tools, you should have a Bubble Hamon ability. To use it, you want to equip it into your hotbar, uh, preferably on the first key because that's going to be the main thing that you're going to use. And then you want to go to the skill tree, which is in the M key, and then click on combat tree. You can level up whatever abilities you want based on how many stat points you have. If your stand is taking up too many stat points, you can reset it with a rocker or change it in the stand storage and this will give you more points that you can use on Bubble Hamon. Now it's time to showcase the moves. So his M1 chain is a normal M1 chain and it does about 5 damage per hit. The R move is a bubble barrier which spawns a massive bubble on top of you which stuns the enemy and does quite a lot of damage. His E move launches a lot of bubbles which do like very little damage. His T move throw out discs and they do quite a lot of damage but they're very hard to aim. The G move is the same thing but it's auto aim and you can use it from anywhere. And the Z move is his ultimate which spawns a red bubble and that does like 80 damage but it damages you by like 50 health. As for how good the spec is, I have mixed opinions. Uh, the reason why I say that is because some of the moves are really good and some of the moves are really bad. Like his ultimate and his bubble launcher are just way too hard for, to hit and they have too much of a downside. Like. The bubble launcher does very little damage, it does like 10 damage in total if you land every single bubble, and the ultimate damages you by 50, so if you miss it then you're gonna be punished a lot. However he does have some good moves like his G move and his T move, his G move is like an auto aim free like 30 damage, and his T move if you land it also does a lot of damage. Overall I do like this spec and I think it's very fun to use but there are better options I think. So if your main objective is just to get the most OP things then you probably shouldn't get this. But if you want to have some fun then this is a good spec to use. I hope this tutorial helped you and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.